So hello and welcome back to another video on Young EV Drivers YouTube channel. So today I'm going to check out Brighton's new charge points that have been added. Brighton Hove Council are putting in 207 lamppost charges, I believe. Uh, we've had a few for the last couple of months and a couple of days ago they've installed another, um, I think five or ten. Daryl Adam on Twitter here has kindly offered to take me around to the charge point so I can film a video in his Renault Zoe. So enjoy the video. I mean, we're just talking about how um, tax, the infra we're talking about the infrastructure of, of um, lamppost charges, some neighbors, um, in Brighton and Hove. And we're discussing who, who they're for, who, who's yeah. gonna be able to use a three kilowatt charger and what for. So the idea being that lots of taxi drivers are, are using their Prius hybrids, let's say, as an example. Yeah. And we were talking about what you were saying. Um, there's one with a, a Kia Soul. There's another with a Outlander, Nero, Outlander. and a Nero plug-in hybrid. Plug-in hybrid. And the Nero can only charge at, I think it's 3.3 kilowatts. So right. So, so so that's already at the max of a lamppost yeah, charge. Yeah, exactly. But at three three kilowatt lamppost charge. Yeah. So what? Part of being a taxi driver, as I understand it, I'm not, yeah. I'm not a taxi driver, but part of being a taxi driver is that you, you many of them hire their cars. They yeah. don't... Um, Buy them outright. Yeah, they don't own them. They're on a sort of a lease. They pay it off as they work. Yeah. So how do you in, how do you encourage a, a, a Brighton Hove taxi, licensed taxi driver to own an electric car? How do you get them into an electric mm. car? What, what, what do you have to say to them? What kind of, is it a, is it a tax break thing? I, I, I use terms like tax break. I really don't know what that means because I'm- But you, know, you get the idea, yeah. yeah I know you, 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 you get the idea. So will there be some sort of benefit to them to, to change from a fossil fuel car that will get them around on a shift easily unless they've got a Heathrow and back or something yeah. crazy? Um, crazy, but you know, you put that into, into an electric car. Now, if you're talking about a, um, about any hybrid, mm -hmm. right? The majority of that journey is not going to be electric. Yeah. The majority of that's going to be for on, one journey. For one exactly. journey, right? So, what are you going to say to a taxi driver? What is it you have to give them? What's the solution to give them? Mm. Do you know? I think at the because you know Brighton Home, uh, Brighton Station. Sorry, mm. the taxi drivers can't park around the front now, and all yes. these taxi drivers are really angry about yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. Because they're not making as much money, because they've got a. It's just harder for the customers to get to the taxi point now. Yeah. The council should offer um, separate parking, let's say, for EVs, um, priority, so they can move the, all electric yeah. cars and plug in yeah. hybrid taxis could be pulled to the front. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just any benefits really to get as many drivers into any, any many as many taxi drivers into an electric uh, electric vehicle. We're driving up a local. Road, Richardson Road here. Where's this thing? Just there. Oh God. <laughs> yes, that is literally. Back. <laughs> right. I'm just going to pull in here quickly, so I'm out of the way. So this is a this is a road. I've I've lived here for for many years now, and this is our local kind of shopping road. Yep. Uh, local shops, and you've just told me that there's a new charge a, a point. new charging point just gone in. I had no idea. I mean, that must have gone I in. I think the last it's gone in the next couple of days, hundred percent. And. There's, there's no, I mean, I wouldn't have known that was there. If you no, hadn't told not, me that was there, I wouldn't have known. 100%. And I know they're calling them lamppost chargers, but that, that post's never been there before. It's no, not, that's well, I know it's definitely a lamppost now, but they're not very pretty. No, it's not. And also, well, where's the sign that says... Electric vehicle. Electric, you've got to have it 10 foot up that pole, mm. so that when you're driving past, you, you can see it from a distance, so you can plan where you're going to pull over yeah. or let other people know you're slowing down at least to charge. And then we we were getting into infrastructure, weren't we? We were talking about, great, great. N no complaint that there's more chargers. No one's ever, yep. no one with an EV is ever going to say, oh no, there's too many chargers. <laughs> Never going to happen. Bring them on. Bring them, exactly. But who in, th that, that parking space there is restricted to residential parking in this zone between 10 and 11 in the morning and seven and eight in the evening. As you can see, there's no parking. We're parked on someone's garage forecourt at the moment here. There's no parking available, and this is not commuter parking. This is local people, like us, I suppose. Yeah. 
But my point being, I'm going to get to a point in a minute. My point being, and this is a Llewellyn rant, this, yeah. isn't it? This is one of those. <laughs> this is one of Robert, his rants. Robert, your fault. <laughs> There's no enforcement of, of these spaces. So between 10 and 11 in the morning, a, a warden will patrol up and down the, around this area and ticket anyone who's parked in a residential parking bay without a permit. Standard practice. That, however, is an electric charging point that has no priority for an electric car. There's no enforcement. If I wanted to go and charge that now... You're going to have to block someone's driveway. I'll be parking across someone's driveway on a double yellow line with a cable draped up the road. Yeah. It, there's, there's just so much the, the thinking isn't joined up I haven't got many miles left on your range yeah. what are you supposed to do yeah wait here or go and block someone's double, driveway double park and double park and I mean, it's going to take hours and hours and hours to charge your car so that's three kilowatt is it that one I believe so the zap map saying it's seven but really? um, electric blue are saying it's three kilowatts 3.3 3. Really? Yes, I'm gonna have a look at a second if there's anything on it. Let's go have a look. Let's go have a look. They're calling it a fast charger, which is, if it's three kilowatt, it's definitely not fast. That's the conversation we need to have about, for people who don't know, for young EV drivers yeah. like yourself, that, that there's a lot of information. In, in the beginning, there's a lot to take on. What, what, what's the definition of fast? What's the definition of rapid? rapid. What's quick? Ultra rapid. What's ultra rapid? What do these things even Too mean? Too many different. Yeah, I, I think they started on a on a path early on, starting with rapid charging, and people went, but it's only 3.3 .3 kilowatts. But well, how's that rapid? It's not exactly rapid. Rapid in relation to what? And they went, oh, rapid in relation to fast. What's fast then? Or what, what's, how many kilowatts what's quick? is fast? What's quick? It's just it's not playing with these terms. So I assume this is a brand new lamppost, That's right? Really it's a nice LED, LED lamppost. Yes, it is, yeah. That. Well, it's, it's green. It's doesn't but it doesn't tell me anything, does it? Got, got a Google Play, got an Apple thing on it. City EV. It's not. That's for RFID. RFID station on it. Does that mean I can pay by contactless? No. It doesn't, does it? It's no, I've no. seen the so people who make these charge points have fitted contactless points here, which yeah. would make sense, but they're not yeah. doing it in Brighton. You know. No, no, no so, idea why. Right, so All it tells you is download the electric app. You download the electric blue app. It won't tell me what speed this charge point is. Do you know when you go to, when you go on a pay and display around here, they've got a big board on it. Yeah, explaining with, everything. With that number, saying phone this number or download this app, uh, pay, pay and go or whatever it's called. Pay yeah, as you go app. pay as you go. App, and you put your details into that and every time you pay, you flip it on your phone and it's done. It's easy. You, I mean, if you live in Brighton and Hove, you're going to have the app. Yeah. Everyone does. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, yeah. if you get, live in Brighton and Hove, yeah. you're going to have the app for this if you have an electric car. Yeah. But there's nothing to tell me. There's no, there's no detail about it. Let, let's, let's give them the benefit of the doubt, because this is, this is clever stuff. Yeah, definitely. It's 21st century electricity coming out of a pole here. And let's just say that, they, let's hope that a message reaches them that this needs to happen, that we need... We need signs. <laughs> and we need to have a designated space. I know it's hard for places in Brighton as parking is so difficult, busy. very difficult. But if they're here, I, we can't charge a car right now. People, the, the arguments, the mo you'll all hear this at some point, especially younger drivers, you'll pick up on this eventually, but um, you'll hear people say, I'm not getting an EV because there's nowhere to park them. There's yeah. nowhere to charge them. Uh, it takes too long to charge them. What if I break down on a smart motorway, run out of charge, in other words? And, and you get these things, and, and the problem is, this has been these these one-liners have been generated eons ago, decade, yeah, like yeah, a long time ago. Too many ago. different scenarios. Yeah, as as a as a sort of as if they're a valid argument against using some different source of energy to power your car. Look, all, all I'm saying about this is wonderful, but it needs a sign on the lamp. It's nothing at all. It needs something up there, and There's it needs nothing here. some sort of marking on the ground to say. Priority for EV only here. Yeah. Or even if they're struggling to do just EVs, I know some areas, maybe, like you said, a priority. But it's just this game, and, and I think this has been underestimated. I think this is a good idea. And if, that they could really make these work really well. Yeah. I mean, if you see this on the street and you live in one of these houses, you think, great, I can charge my car here if I ever yeah. get one. Yeah. It encourages it, but then they're going to say, 
every day they're going to see something like this parked in it. Where are you supposed to charge here? Where do you charge? Where do you park? Who enforces the parking spaces? Who says... <laughs> so we're not talking about you. <laughs> who, who enforces the parking if, if it was ever... It has to become part of the road traffic act. Is what needs to happen. In, in, in local councils, they have um, a, a, a team of people that will deal with, with parking issues and, and fundamentally with the way roads are mapped out and how long a line's got to yeah. be and stuff like this. Well, with, with equipment like this coming up, with no signs and... Who's, I didn't know, sir. I've got an electric car and I live half a mile away. It's, it's not easy. And I d we don't really know who... <laughs> Who do I pay for this? How much does it cost? Yeah. Right. And action. <laughs> so um, we're at the charger. It's currently iced by a lovely BMW. Five litre BMW. Five litre BMW. <laughs> um, but we're going to plan a scenario. Daryl has 20 miles of range left. He lives in a flat, no off street parking at home, and we need to charge the car. So let's try and find somewhere to charge the car. Okay. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to say, right, what's the nearest charger to... If I'm at home and I need to park conveniently close to home, because it's going to chuck it down at some point today. Yep. Where's the nearest charger? Wish right. Road. Wish Road. We're going to go to Wish Road. Hove. Hove. And we're going to charge try and charge the car. Okay? Let's go. Let's so go. coming up to Wish Road. Just hybrid, sadly. It's just hybrid. Oh, no, plug-in hybrid. <laughs> <laughs> Outlander, number one. All right, so let's see if we can charge at this charge point. I can see it. I can see it as well. No one's it. plugged in. Fingers crossed. There's nobody in it. There's some street roadworks signs up. Um, I think that's just for the, is that just for the gas or? Mm. Let's charge. See that green sign up there, the electric charging point? That's what that other post needs. Yeah, they all need them. I mean, there's no enforcement as you can't, but it just shows people. Yeah. Let's do this. So you've got a sign, good start. There's permit holders only, so from 10 to 11 to 7 till 8. Yeah. Which uh, yeah. is an interesting. The other thing I'm going to do, just for the record, I've got my brought my pen knife with me because what I noticed is this is this is the a bag this, of water. This is a bag of this is a bag of water, folks, that the council's put on a electric charging point. But what this is about is this is telling everyone the proposed um, development of charging points across Brighton and Hove. However, however, um, this is as of October 2019. You can see in the bottom of these bags, these plastic bags, they're full of water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do him a favour and I'm just going to put a little a little cut in the there bottom and make it make it lovely. <laughs> it's something useful. Literally just a bag of water. There we go. And then the water will drain out. Right. So just done your favour. There we go, council. <laughs> right. Good start. No power. Doesn't work. Fast charge point. Which is a 3.3 kilowatt charger, so. <laughs> which isn't exactly fast, and there's no power to it. No power to it. However, what, what this what this point does have, this being the nearest to home. So if I needed to, the scenario is, I don't have um, a home charger because I live in a flat, or uh, I don't have a drive or zone of action. In other words, I'd have to run a cable across the pavement to my car, which is That's ideal. Nuts. So I'm going to have to find the nearest charging point to me, which is this. And it's in the next road to me. It's lovely because it's got a big green sign up it's saying electric charging point. It's however, free at the moment. However, what we also have here, and I'm going to just repeat this in case people missed it the first time, is we've got a residence permit system here, right? Residential parking between 10 and 11 and 7 and 8. So between those times, if I were in a position where I had to charge here, bearing in mind this is a three kilowatt charger and I've got a 40 kilowatt car and I need to put some juice into it. Let's say I, I lapse into the 10 to 11 in the morning. I'm gonna get a parking ticket for parking in front of the only charger that I can use near my home. So 
episode two, or part two of this episode, is going to be finding the next nearest charger. And it's going to continue until we do <laughs> find one that we can use. Okay? Which I believe... Is over. Other side of the park. It's over there. There somewhere. So fingers crossed. That one will be free to charge. Um, the space will be free. Yeah. And uh, it's actually working. Yeah. Right. Let's go. For electric van there's and a, plug. And a plug-in hybrid Prius. There we go. Well, there's a little advert for you. Thank you very much. Plug and socket. Plug and socket electric. in an electric van. Very good. Right, the next charger. Oh, it's no one's in it. Good stuff. Here it is, please work. Good stuff. Here we go. Pulling up in a free parking bay. There it is. Right. Looks nice and shiny and new. Let's see if it'll work. There's a green light on it. It's a good start. Let's go have a look. Oh, and a red light on it. Declined. We haven't done anything yet. Okay, so. See where this is going, is it? It's a pattern for Yeah. Is this too early to say there's a pattern for What's the red light for? Hold it down. Have you tried switching it off and back on again? It's one of those things, isn't it? Exactly. Well, here we are. We've got the same six EV as um, the one the first which one. road, yeah. This is Saxon Road in Hove. We're still in a residential parking bay and zone with the same criteria as the last one. This one doesn't look like it works either. So I'm now, I'm only half a mile away from home or so, something like that. I'm half a mile away. And I'm looking, I'm still looking for somewhere to charge. It's getting late, it's going to rain, and I need to put some electricity into the car because I need the car to go out later. The reality of these situations is that anyone who hasn't got an electric car, if they hear people like us, who I have got an electric car, talking like this, it can be very off-putting to them because they start thinking, well, why would I bother with all of this nonsense? Mm. I live in a flat. I haven't got off-road parking, I haven't got a home charger, I need to use a public charger here. This thing's going up from 26 pence a kilowatt to 40 something pence a kilowatt. For a three kilowatt charger. For a three kilowatt charger. It's gonna take forever to put anything realistic into my, well, it's better than a 13 amp plug, let's be honest. <laughs> so these, these situations are real, and, and it, I think it's very valuable to show that there's, um, there's still a there's still a way to go. Yeah, we're still not at the point where you can just pull into a petrol station and fill up. Also, to note, you can only have four hours max here, and you have to pay for your own parking. Um, so paying for your parking, and then paying forty p a kilowatt to charge your car, isn't exactly the uh, cheapest cheapest thing to do. Yeah. A long way to go. Yeah. So you got four hours. You got three kilowatts. I mean, there should be like an incentive if you're charging your car and you're going to be paying 40p a kilowatt, get your parking for free because you're going to need more than four hours on a three kilowatt charge post. All right, we're going to give it a go anyway to see if we can get it working from the app. The cable. It's not very steep. Let's take that end. Right, that that, that end. Okay. Blue end in the car. Hold on. Let me open my. Uh... Here's another thing, Renault. Renault. It's keys. Can you not? Thanks. <laughs> it's really kind of a bit big. <sighs> it's just a thing, isn't it? Flap is open. Can I just pull that out to open? Yeah, yeah. That end's plugged in. Yeah. That end's plugged yeah. in, and I'll check it on the app. This charge point at the moment is free of charge, but it wanted to go up to 40p a kilowatt, so let's give it a go. Oh, do you put it there? No, that's the, that's the reader. Oh, oh maybe you're right. flashing. Did it flash? That went orange. Oh, okay. Orange. Oh, green, orange. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, 
it's given us uh, declined. declined yeah. So, should I try from the app? Let's see from the app if the app's going to work for us. Right, so the app is super easy to use. Um, download Plug Surfing app, add your payment method. This charge is free, um, but I um, I selected what charger I was at and it just said confirm charge and it started charging straight away. And here's the screen. That's the screen that you see when you, let me just take you back out of it. So you open your Plug Surfing app. This is the screen you'll see of your local near locations you click on the on the tab that takes you to this screen tells you everything you need to know about it really and then you press green to start charging and it just, did. just started charging straight away and how long is it gonna say six hours <laughs> so you're on a three kilowatt charger 65 percent and six six hours 15 minutes problem there but, but that's, that's, uh, you can only have four hours and so, four pounds. So we've got, we've got, we've got two, two scenarios, two situations here. One is that how often do you need to charge the hundred percent? The the car manufacturers slow down battery charge to condition the batteries, as yeah. many people know, at around eighty something percent, right? And, and that's what this is basically monitoring. Saying it's going to take six and a quarter hours. That's including that last. that massive slowdown for the last bit to condition the battery. Yeah. So if we were here for visiting. We've got four hours, there's a beach down the road, there's a park here, there's some cafes up the road. Yeah, they're great locations. So you've got one on this side that's working and the other one on that side, which isn't working, but they, they, are, they, are, they are in good locations. There's a cafe just here. Yeah. That's Wish Park Cafe, which is fantastic when it's open. Um, mm -hmm. And so success. We managed to find a charge after how many attempts? Well, this is our third. Technically, yeah, it's, it's the second, but yeah, the third attempt. The, fir the first one didn't work. I switched on. The one on Richardson Road was iced by a five litre BMW. You know. It's great that these charge points are coming and we're putting 207 in a, around Brighton and Hove. It's great that they are here as they are useful, but they just need to be enforced. There needs to be some space so you can guarantee you can charge your car here as one charge point but this whole road isn't isn't the greatest. So thank you Plug Surfing, thank you City EV, thank you Brighton Hope City Council. Um, wish the cafe was open, that would be nice. Yeah. Um, and thank you Renault. Anyone else we need to thank? Um, maybe. Like the Oscars. <laughs> I think that's it. Maybe uh, yeah. Electric Blue. Electric I know Blue. they're working with Brian yeah, and Hope Council. Right. Thank, but thank yeah. everyone involved in getting these things out for us to. to to check out, to report on, and to use, hopefully to use. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching, and comment below which other videos you'd like to see.